Hello everybody, welcome back to more Elden Ring. I've decided our next goal should be working towards unlocking Lutl, who is the summon that I want to basically carry us through a lot of the game. At least the early parts of the game anyway. So we're going to set off from Fort Height here because what we're going to do, we're going to clear our way towards him uh, from where we are now. And we probably could have actually on the way, yes, we, we will do this. So we're going to go and speak to um, Mr. Blythe here. He's going to then um, accompany us in defeating the boss of this Everjail. Once we've done that, I'll probably go uh, up to the place that I just marked on the north. That is an artist shack. It's kind of like a mini puzzle. It's not really essential, but we'll we'll grab it anyway just because it's kind of nice to uh, make sure we're getting everything as we're going through the zone. And I really don't want to miss anything that I don't have to miss, so that is the plan. Just gonna head up here, make sure we don't run into any of the rune bears. Obviously, we know the rune bear uh, will be between us and Mr. Blythe if we head in from the south. So we're just gonna come on around this side. And you can see he's just up there on the tower. So we just want to come over this way and then use the finger snap. Where are you? Here we are. We're just gonna use the word test now, and that should work. Don't know why he reacts to that, but he does. I don't need to uh, listen to this. But we're just going to complete all of his dialogue. And then he will now help us against the boss that we want to defeat in this video. Oh, I just want to get to the other side because I want to grab this last couple of bits of loot so that we can be finished with this area. Grab that. Where is it? Feels like it's woken up. Ah, it's still sleeping, that's good. One of my favourite things about this game is all the sneaking we're able to do. It's pretty good as well. Nice little smithing stone too. These um, these flowers can make sleeping items, but other than that, we've pretty much collected everything we need from here, so let's... Let's bail. Uh, with that done, then make our way down towards here so we might as well fast travel to uh, to Selen's area. Something to note whilst we are here is that um, if you do want to start making your poison arrows this is a good place to get one of the ingredients which is the um, poison blossoms. The plants in particular the large plant over there will drop quite a lot of the uh, the items that you need so that's pretty cool. And we can probably deal with these now, which is kind of nice. The uh, the rock sling should make fairly light work of the big guys. And because it knocks them down, it's going to make for a very nice target for the rapier, which is very nice. We haven't actually upgraded it yet. Just note that now that it's been knocked down, look, you can see it's broken off the chain, so it'll give us a chase. But we can knock it down real quick again. Get this done. Now at this point then, it is up to you what you want to do. You can take on the whole convoy. Um, to get the extra runes. Or you can just run in and grab the loot. There's an item on the back. I can't remember what the weapon is. I'm going to finish off the golem here though. It's going to give us a little bit extra runage. I'm just going to come on around this side now. I'm not going to take on the whole convoy. Um, the biggest danger here is going to be the dude on the horse. And he hasn't aggroed. Oh, he has now. Give me that. Let's go. Oh, my God. Excuse me. Why does my horse not appear when I call? Come here. We need that. All right, let's go. So, you know, you can get a lot of runes out of this. Especially if you use rune arc to... Uh, Kill a load of those enemies off for you. I'm just going to drop in there. Is there really no need for that? Just be careful of that because that will knock you off the horse. It's called Dismounter for a reason, <laughs> the, the weapon they're using. 
Uh, but the good thing is, there's literally a grace right there where all of the trees are, which we can now use to reset ourselves, which is real good. And I need to be using... I need to get an endurance. Health would probably be better, but I really want to... I really want to be able to equip some gloves or something, because that just makes me feel better. So we'll go with the point of endurance for now. Can I equip some gloves? I can. These are the same weight, so the question is which ones look nicer. Yeah, they look better with what I'm wearing. Does that mean I can wear this? It's actually light. Interesting, that's actually lighter. Mm, looks horrible though. No way. <laughs> no, no, no way. Uh, so these will drop um, thin bones if you need them right now. There's a better farming place, better farming p place than this. Wow, I can't even words that. Um, but you can get yourself some thin bones from these if you want to start making arrows. It's real cool. It's actually not too bad of a spot really for earliness. There's a uh, load of stuff in this lake, but we're gonna leave it because a big dragon comes down. There's a load of crabs in it, so just ignore that for now. We're gonna kind of basically complete. A little ring around the edge. So we'll have this done. We've done the grave site. We're going to come up onto this hill now, and then we'll do this bit. That should not take us too long. Um, and then we should be able to do the artist shack as well as talk to an NPC called Yura. A few things we want to get done. There are a couple of those big guys up here, so we do need to be careful. But to be fair, if we can knock you off your horse. Where are you, sir? Here we are. If we knock you off your horse... Oh no! I keep pressing the wrong button. That's gonna... Oh man, that's gonna be the enemy now. <laughs> there we go. Get off. Ouch! Alright, tell me you dropped your weapon already. No, Caden armor. That's pretty heavy, I'm not going to wear that. Uh, we can summon wolves here, I did not realise that. Again, another place where it feels like they've added an extra place for me to do some summoning. I don't have the FP right now. But I wish I did though. Oh my gosh. Your friend up there on the frickin' tower. Is not Luckily he's a clue. At least he's useful for something. So going up there we're actually going to get a uh, another scroll. And that's going to be a good time for us to go back to Selen to... Uh, Get some extra spells available. Great Epe. This is a large rapier, basically. Um, I am not able to use it because it requires a uh, bit more strength than I have right now, so we'll be leaving that. I'm going to go ahead and summon these because, well, that's just going to be helpful. Let's go. If the wolves could fight all these down here while I just go up here and uh, grab my loot, that'd be great. It's probably not going to happen that way. They'll probably teleport up to me. Ouch. Ouch. Oh my god, I'm dead. I can't believe I'm going to die to these little pathetic things. Oh yes, good wolf! <laughs> that was perfect. Right, I need to get you. Right, I'm going to get this other one. Let's get this other one. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's other loot around here we need to talk about, so I kind of need to get things calmed down. Ouch. I really need to not get sniped quite that- Whoa, he's still alive! Wolves, come on! Ouch! This could be a death. It's probably gonna be a death. Oh my gosh. Quick, 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 quick. Ooh. You know what? You know what? This ain't worth it. I got all the good loot anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that for now. Oh no. We don't need another one of those. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh so heavily, but that was funny. Okay, so we got the scroll, which is the main thing we wanted. And we got the Great Epe. There's, there is one more piece of important loot there. I'm going to see if we can sneak up and get it. Let's go. So we're going to use the, uh, we're going to use the airlift at the back. I just need to talk about it because... Um, it's a finite resource in the game, and it's going to be useful for us to get more 
um, spirit summon ashes later on. So I just need to show you guys that before I kind of leave this little area. And it's this here. So this should be a night shard, starlight shard, there we go. Um, so if you use it, that is like a, um, an FP regen item. I don't know why they made them a finite resource. It's kind of painful that it is. Um, but we're effectively going to be spending them as a currency, so don't use it. Um, is, is all I can really say about that. Once, we've, once you've got all the uh, all the spirits that you want um, through it as a currency, obviously you can start using them then. But as a as a finite resource, it's really kind of it's not really something we could depend on for the build or anything like that. If we get more of them, that'd be great. We but we can't. I don't need to rest actually. We've come back to the grace of nothing. So next up then, we're going to go ahead and deal with Darawil. Uh, which is what uh, Blythe was talking about. This is going to be down here. You'll find a lot of these on the map. I don't think we can see very many. I don't realize there was enemies in between us and Darrow. Let's go, go around a bit. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you'll find a lot of these um, like kind of dark grey slash purpley blue circles as you look around. Um, there's actually one right here, look. Uh, and they're all just kind of little special boss fights. We don't get to summon for these ones usually, but we do get to summon for this one um, because we have um, progressed Sir Blythe's um, quest. So we just kind of activate this. Don't go too far towards that purple light there until you've activated this. And Blythe can pretty much deal with this guy on his own. So we just basically need to stay out of its way, fire a couple of spells in, and basically profit. Darrow. Rotting in a cell is no true justice. No. This is where it ends for you. So let's just like do that. I'm gonna come out this way. Wanna make sure Blythe is kind of on him real quick. There we go. Boom. Look at that look. Look at the health difference between the two of them already. <laughs> Rock sling, just nailing you. Bloodhound's Fang. It's quite a strong weapon. I prefer the Greatsword. Um, but yeah, pretty good. A lot of people like it, so it's a nice thing to uh, to just grab hold of. Wolf Boy should appear to us again. We can get some more dialogue from him. None of this is essential for his quest line, but it's just nice because he's kind of a cool character. Um, go ahead and listen to all of his stuff. Take it Summer Spoon, Summer Spoon 2. So if you've been following this, you should, have, you should be able to get your Bloodhound Fang straight to plus 2 now, which is kind of nice. Uh, we've already got that stuff, so that's all good. So we are 13 minutes. Can I... Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we'll go, we're going to go up here next. Um, and yeah, it's not good to go there. So we're going to go from... Mistwood outskirts. From here, oh, we actually have enough rooms for a level. Let's do that. Another drugs. I really need to upgrade my health, though. Uh, I just want to. Wanna, can I have my hood on now? Nope. All sorts of nope. So we're just gonna head on up the hill to look at all these ugly flowers now. Look, see, all over the place. Um, so you shouldn't be struggling for, for carp items at this point. Oh man, would be bats. I don't really want to be fighting bats. Should just literally be up here. I don't think it is up here. This isn't it. I can't get the map up. Let's go this way. Uh, that's just a health version of the, um, of the scabs. No real, uh, no real need for us to be, to be interacting with that. Okay, so we've got a grace. It's an extra fast travel point for us if we ever want it. Uh, but realistically speaking, we're just here for this. And then we can fast travel back down um, to where we just came from to solve it. So these are like kind of the idea is you're supposed to find where the picture is. Um, so you kind of look at that and you, you've got to try and find wherever that is within this zone. Luckily, I already know where that is. It's about. It's about. Here. So we're just going to go and go over that way.
So we're just gonna head straight west now. I don't think that looks guarded by anything. Under the archway you can see just ahead of us is the NPC Euro that I spoke about a second ago. Or should I say a few minutes ago, so we're gonna go ahead and talk to him. Um, that's gonna just prepare us for another encounter later on. Where we'll get invaded, but then he will effectively come in and help us with the invader. We then have to do the same thing back to him to get um, his quest line done. Yep, yep, yep. We are going in there, don't worry about it. Everyone tells us not to do stuff, and we do it anyway. Uh, got the grace, we're gonna take this. If we've got time, there should be another thing we need to face just below, so we'll do that as well. Uh, so we're gonna go this way. Yeah, we're pretty close to where it is, because you can see where all these bats are. I was a little bit off with my map marker, we just have to go a little bit further. I feel like, yeah, it should be just dropping off over here. And what you'll see is this look. That's because we had the painting. There we go, incantation scarab. Uh, I think that like, kind of improves incantations, the cost of like damage resistance or something like this. Not really a fan of it. Um, what? <laughs> uh, we're going to fast travel back to the Grace. And this time we want to head to the south a bit. We're just going to follow it around. And you can just about see the really little wisps of the air tunnel just here, which we need to reach. Hopefully I don't die doing this. There we go. And we just need to face this guy. This guy does respawn, but the first time we beat him, he's going to drop us um, some good stuff. We don't get to summon down here, though, still. Keep on pressing L1 on the horse. It's uh, going to screw me over eventually. Quick, quick. Oh, oh yeah, that works out in my favour, didn't it? <laughs> there we go, Ash of War Gravitas. And I think we can put that on our rapier to make it scale with intelligence. Might try that. I don't know if it does or not. There should be, here we go, a little cave. It's not essential. Um, it's just nice to make sure we get everything. Halic Drake Talisman. A bit of bit of electricity electricity or lightning damage resistance. Can we fast travel from here? We can. It's very nice. We're on 17 minutes. I've still got three minutes to do stuff with. Stop screaming, my gosh. So we've cleared this entire coastal area now, which is real good. I'm leaving the lake until we powered up a little bit, and we've got Lutal. Uh so we can begin heading south. Let's go to the let's go to the next grace to the south then. Didn't get anywhere enough to level. That guy did not drop many runes at all. See all these enemies look. If you're the kind of person that likes to clear enemies out, you'll probably be well ahead of me. In terms of runage, especially if you cleared the uh, the camp they were at, <laughs> that I very nearly failed on. I'm so sorry about that. I feel like we made good progress though. We've got quite far. I'm around 11 o'clock. It's 11 p.m. for me. Probably get a couple more. We can summon for this. Oh, that's also new. I mean, we might as well. I don't really f I don't usually fight this. The best way to deal with this, in my opinion, is let it fire its first bolt at you. And then quickly get through. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly. Get past all this. I suppose if it lets us summon from behind, we can clear it out. Stone sword key on the way through. And then we can just rest at the grace. That's what I usually do there. Even with like low health. I have barely leveled my health. That was fine, right? Um, we don't have enough time to clear this, really. We've got, and we've got all the best loot. I kind of want to. Let's let's do it. I should. Let's do it. I'll be naughty this once. I feel like I've got quite a lot of good stuff. This episode, you all gone. No more bolt throw for you guys now. I've got to do it just because whenever I leave a shiny, it always drives me absolutely insane. Even though... Oh, it is three smithing stones. That's pretty good. 
We could probably get some pretty good improvements on our uh, rapier right now. We don't really need it because it's, it's not really supposed to be used all that much. Um, but we probably should for when we, you know, we do get the crits and we want to stick the rapier in something's face. And there are going to be times when we want to just stick a rapier in things' faces, so. And that was actually pretty quick, so. That's real nice. We'll end the episode here then. Uh, we've got some more NPC stuff to deal with just down there. And I'll uh, see you all in the next one.